I really wanted to do this play because so many people, like myself included, um, are just like, how can they do that? Ah, it's ah, so bad. But then, you know, when you see a guy like my dad who really loved the land, and little by little he's out there working, he's working his ass off, you know, and then these things come in, and we just have to really be aware. And I also think that, um, you know, if you see it, then history won't repeat itself. And... Uh, Yeah, thank you. On Father's Day, right? Yeah. Do you do this all over the country? I used to, and this one, I'm just like, uh, you know, it's so funny because we all have frequencies of our parents in us, mm -hmm. and, and I've been releasing a lot of that. I haven't performed this show for three years, and, and I can't even believe, like, when I did it before, how little I felt. And there's been so much forgiveness and so much integration over that time. And it's just like little things, like my dad followed me when my dog died. He didn't have the perfect words, but he saw me, right? And when, once I acted him out and I felt that, it's like, God dang, man. And then my mom, there's all these you know, frequencies that, and, and even like when she said, now oh, if you have to cry, just go to the grove. And, you know, like I do. And I always had so much judgment about that. And then when I was rehearsing these lines, it's like, geez, I was getting so choked up. I'm like, how can I even do this? I don't even know how I'm going to get through it. And then I said to myself, just hang in there and you can cry afterwards. And I go, that's exactly what mom said. Oh my God. And that's what I was judging her for. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, I needed that piece. And there are so many pieces like that throughout. So... Like doing a one-person show when you act out other people. So in answer to your question, Grace, this is it. You know, when I let my mom go, and it, before when I did it, it's like, oh, those balloons are going up. Ah. But now it's just like, we're free. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We're free. Healing, forgiveness, everything, you go. And so I feel really happy now, and I feel complete with it, and I feel like there's another chapter that wants to unfold. I would like to send this to Minnesota farmers. They have this whole catalog of videotapes mm -hmm. just so people can see. Oh, okay. Like you forget, what was walking the beans? I say, yeah, we're out walking the beans. People are like, walking the beans? What does that mean? <laughs> like, well, we're walking the beans, yeah. walking the beans. And it was brutal, man. So I saw you do this three years ago. And, or was mm -hmm. Yeah, it was probably three. And it's really evolved since then. I mean, it was Wonderful then, but yeah, you know, I could feel yeah. that you felt more. Yeah. And, um, and since then, my family all died, so uh, I've, yeah. Thank you for doing Yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah. Wow. Have your siblings seen the show? My brother saw it, uh -huh. and that was back in Minnesota. I've performed the show in New York and all over California and stuff. But there's nothing like going back to Minnesota and doing the show. And it, he said he had a headache for two days. Oh, wow. um, because, you know, it's like you're trying to hold it in. You know, it's just like, oh, yeah. And I knew he was doing that. And he's a very sensitive guy. And so he saw it. You know, he said it wasn't a D15. It was a D19. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know who would tell me. I don't, I, you know, a D15, I want to get everything right, right? So, yeah, he saw it, and my niece and my nephew saw it, and they were pretty young when their grandparents died. And so, you know, they'll remember. So I'm just very happy to Alan to help me videotape it, so I have it documented, and, uh, yeah. And what happened to the farm? Yeah, that's another big question that I'm going to divert for later. I have 50 acres back there that I turned into prairie, so it's all, it's all grassland and flowers, and it's coming up beautifully now, and it's surrounded by all these other um, farms. It's, it's something back there. But hopefully, you know, the farmers are coming around, you know. Yeah. That was lovely. Oh, thank you. Did you ever get to see Alice Cooper? No, I didn't, but I was in Phoenix one time, and he's got this, 
You know, people think that Alice Cooper is this, ah, but he's actually like this Christian guy mm -hmm. and he has all these nonprofits for kids to get him off the streets. Mm -hmm. So I stood next to his big billboard cutout at his shop, but I didn't get to see him. I was at the Dairy Princess contest. <laughs> <laughs> but it was supposed to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the things we do for other people to try to make them happy, it never works out. You got to... Yeah. Yeah. I know. He had something else going on. He's a busy guy. So thank you all for coming. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for coming. Oh my Thanks. God, it was so emotional. Oh, I love you.